Get out that mid side. They still have someone over towards the B side. But what is going on? Seven? How does he even get up there? It's cheeky that he even wants to get up there. And Sean does actually get that trade back, but such an awkward spot to do so. Finally, the plant is going down now for T1. And what's going to be the big scary factor, right? Wall's gone up here for this post plant, and the tricky spot here as well. It's, oh my goodness, it's inaccessible. You actually have to break this wall to get onto no it. No way. And Blyfoot's got the right click. Blyfoot's got 11 bullets, and they're walking right into his crosshair, but he's only able to manage one. Three. Three. Just trying to dance around, gets oh, that's the so huge. back up, and they're that's taking so this huge. Chen G are walking into the jaws of T1. This plant setup oh, is wait. perfect for them. Oh no, Sean, he was anticipating a close plant. Oh, he was anticipating someone off over towards kitchen, or excuse me, out over towards tunnel. And he's still able to get the two kills back over. Peek up in kitchen, and Kusta, he might have the angle early. He pops in, and can't exactly pop out. Pony ends up getting him. The spike is down, but he's able to pick it back up. You do have GMD still back over in B main, and can cover this up. He does have the Viper wall next to him. He does have the orb ready up in double door, uh, excuse me. Up in boxes, but even then, GMD. Oh, he's actually gonna be able to at least get one. I was just scared if they were actually gonna find him. No, they still find him. They get the one back, but it's definitely not enough space for T1. It's just a pistol now remaining for Soul 5. But Gen G are working with at least one less gun, and that's the bold die. Oh. However, now they've got even one less. Oh no, so close. Like, differentiating factor between any gun really. Right, yeah, yeah. I just like the sound. But like, fight with some vigor. Seven. Ooh, no. I thought seven was gonna go for the peak, but instead it's Steel. Who is a very slow T1 style, and well, it's ooh. opened up two picks. Seven Spike. finds one. To hold these, hold these out dry. Oh, the Viper Pony. walls up, Pony. Oh my God, Pony, that sucks, bro. He's able to actually get two out of that. Two through the wall, if I'm not mistaken. That second one was a bit easier though because of the barrel, but even then. And you know, you lose control towards A, you kind of got to get antsy and go for a peek. And that's Indeed going to do the exact same thing. All four players going up to heaven, making the jump up towards ramp. So we could see a bit of action there, but Pony and Steel are actually watching the crossover. So a little bit still, it's a lot of space remaining for T1. They're going up towards that mid side, but GMD oh. and Sean both getting kills. What is going on? Revive coming in at the same time. Revive's T1 here. out of nowhere now find themselves down two. Oh, Make it down three. Spins. Rhyme, just able to pick up one though. It's down to just Pony. And to walk through the Aldrin's come through as well. Pony, he's getting a little bit antsy. Oh, he throws just on the bite. First. Snake bite will delay just a little bit. Oh, and he dodges the Aldrin. Goodness me, he couldn't get another. That snake bite killed it him. Connects. It does get to half, but Pony. Rhyme is so low, he can't even go on either. Nature, he's thinking about it, but again, they need that bite to go away. Nature in, running out of HP. Pony with any shot should be able to do oh! it. No! Rhyme, you absolute legend! To make the read on that aggression, but they get the eco through, and now T1. A little bit of a predicament as aggression uh -oh. showing up for Rhyme is gonna find this first pick, and he's gonna back away as well and try and just play with his team. Noise, they're not making a single movement. They're getting deep and they're getting control, and they all wanna swing oh, together, right. and yup, it works. A taken towards that backside instead towards snowman and well you know there was a pick happening towards being right already t1 established to be main control and it, the thing is exactly that silly it's gonna be a fake but it's gonna be a real hard one curry on the front line is gonna be able to get one out goes a little bit of utility not only that but the ulti coming out at the same time and that's full rotation mission accomplished for t1 and they're still getting a whole lot of damage here on a the plant will be able to go down these two b players could be and that's why time is ticking. They don't have a lot of it. Oh, yet. no. They're going to move on now at all. Oh. Seven. So clean on that first. Swipe was going to play this close angle. Rip Onto their spots. 20 seconds. Rhyme. Tight angle. Going to be able to get the first top rope. Swipe can't even get anything done. He actually puts down the wall they need for the plant. And indeed, they're going to be able to get it. Viper's pick going up at the same time. Whiff shots going up everywhere. No the time. Done going in. Wait. Do they have their... No, they don't. The spike. It's stuck on top of tunnel. Pony can't get there. And that's going to be the round. A tunnel just in case it happens. Happens. But we do have to focus up on the rest of B main though. Everyone else from C1 making their oh, way the forward. Yeah, and Gen five. G. It's, it's in comes the crew. Curry around the corner, not gonna be able to get anything. Thwifo trying to hold off yellow box, but he just can't do it either. Steel in seven, running There's out of walls. angles. Steel can't do anything, but the Hunter's Theory that's been there since the very beginning, finally getting pulled out. Sean. <laughs> Back away, and now we have a separation. Two players on the B site, but they're nowhere near connected. Oh, that Even then, Kus is so good for one. Now GMD, back towards yellow is gonna get overwhelmed. The res comes in as well, and this is a much better round from T1. Oh no, the pop! Oh, Sean. 
Sean, that was disgusting. He pops out immediately, gets the kill. Pony is even better, though. Tap tapping away on top with what he's got. The Empress got at least overheal for a quick second. But Sean is just taking way too long. Back towards Kitchen and Steel. Is gonna get a little bit of a notification. Okay, players are towards mid and rhyme. A quick dash towards top. He was gonna be able to get to find one. Now they need to pivot back and curry. Tapping away at these heads. Seven here as well. Backing him up here with the headhunter. And now we have a three versus two. Oh, the head getting shot. dicey because dinks are coming through and Sean needs a kill for a refresh. But it's nine to four for T. Stuck. 50 seconds left. Every player still back up towards yellow. I wouldn't say stuck. They're willingly staying back there. Trying to wait for the toxins to go back up. Finally, it's the util that they want, and Sean's able to get the kill that they want on top Spike of Tim down. Can. That's a big one. Spike finally goes down, and that's mission accomplished. Now T1 can focus on the post plant and trying to retake this. 30 seconds left. They've denied it here. Curry broke that wall and took that aggressive peek, and oh, now T1. Steel. That's the objective they wanted here, Sean. Couple of nice headshots. 2v3 here. Steal with a marshal. Steel. It's still good to find another. Steal with a headshot Unreal. onto Sean. And a 2v2, both players backed up over here towards B-Main. And they don't have any lineups to play with. Nature has got no shock darts, so they actually need to take these aggressive fights. They do. Steel with only a marshal. He's just trying to hold on at aggressive peak. And 7 nearly finds that frag. Grime forced to back away here. The headhunter needs to go big. It's only going to get a couple of tags as Grime and Nature swing. Uh -oh. stabilize. Uh -oh. What is this? What is that wall? A quick screenplay. Okay. It went up towards mid. Rhyme and steel trading blows. That's a one for one for now at least. But look at this. T1 quick to adjust. They've already pivoted back over. He does have someone watching his right side. So now it's just Curry and trying to fight this one war ground in the middle of sight. But unfortunately, at least for him, the spike does go down and his opponent does back up. So now Curry does have to deal at least with Rhyme. The rest of Gen G do need to deal with so many unknown positions. But again, T1 making their way back they're in. Sticking. They do have the defuse already and they're going to be able to stick it maybe. Rhyme just has to pop in and the wall is too good. The defuse will go in. Well, that's so tough. Seven. How does he do that? He ends up getting the contact immediately backs on out and he's able to dodge. How does Seven get any kills here? Actually, Thwaifu and Curry. He's still picking up two more right after nature still stuck in a 1v3 what I mean the fact that <laughs> that seal is just making these calls It's yeah. literally like he's got a book open to his right and he's talking with his coach like all right Which strat should we pick which one of Gen can do and they just know a full mid hold from t1 And I mean it's a lockdown again this defense is and it's gonna open up space for seven and a hunter's here to pop as well Should find this frag and yes, it does who is They're gaining so much ground without a single peak for t1 They have no clue that this is happening Thwaifo is just waiting out for an opportunity the cross is being watched up though Oh curry. He does reveal his position. Oh, the he shot. gets two the You kidding me? Up Rhyme and Sean and seven is still able to capitalize on another kill on a nature This has to be it Kusta in a 1v5 to try to close out the map Spike is still over towards his left. Yeah, no, it's just way too impossible. From Gen G, Rhyme instantly double flashbacking straight up towards Rampin. Look at this, Gen G. They've completely isolated that spawn rotate, and, and for now, Steel, he's the only contact. He does get one tag. He's got a little bit of a backup here in the backside of the form. Oh my goodness, Rhyme already charging straight through. Through the Viper's wall. That's a beautiful guiding light, and well, Gen G. That is fast. They immediately take this A bomb side and it's left in a 2v4. Funny and Curry. They're just stuck over towards elbow. They've already been tunneled through. Kusta, he is down low on HP, but he doesn't care. He's still fighting for it. Same thing with Sean. A T1, no, it's a fake. Yeah, the rhyme. I don't really think that he wants to drop in either. He's just doing a quick check, and yeah, they're gonna call out. They're gonna call it out. There you go, just gonna be that man advantage, one less gun going forward, but over on B, it should be a bit of a lockdown, that Viper needs to do so much work, but Thwaipo's not gonna be able to get anything, he's stuck in the corner, same thing with his teammate, Steel hasn't hit any shot either, and he gets trapped by GMD, what just happened T1, they have the assets here on site, they read out the rotation, and Gen G still able to waltz their way over towards that B site, Curry, Thinking about getting a peek in, that nade should be good. Oh, but it's going to be a bit too deep. Hits off the wall just a bit too early. And now Pony and Seven somehow need to make something out of this 2v4. Yeah, but look at this post flank two. already here. Oh my yeah, god, this Bravo will at least pull one through, but that's not going to be enough. Ryan. Ooh, steal. Sit up. They do have curry slashes starting to come through. Double blast back for seven to create space. And already, Steel's looking to take these early duels on. Yeah, real good from Steel. 
dropping down, taking up at least a bit of map control, but that's because Genji is literally giving it to them. Not a single person actually playing up towards that back area, even just watching it steal, taking down the wall bit by bit. He's just gonna allow the shots to take it down instead. Nature getting up the first kill onto steel. There's still multiple players here for T1 attacking this pillar. Thwaitho Curry combining for two. That's gonna be Sean trying to take down another one. No, 1v4 for GMD. It was just overwhelming. T1, they're gonna end up taking their first round off of an eco. It just sees the skirt, but not the shoulder. No pixels given for Steel just yet. And finally, when he gets a first opportunity, he takes down GMD. But the rest of Gen G off of this, off of no noise, heading their way up A. Yeah, but look at this YouTube. Oh, but look at the spike on B. T1. Even if they want to commit here, Gen G towards this A site, like you said, the spike is leading towards B, but they're still Steel. They're still Steel, and even then. This is a full fake. It's not gonna work out. Steel just holds this angle. There's no contest back towards this mid side. Steel does not care. Seconds left, seconds left, and Steel, he's not budging. You're right. He doesn't give a damn. And look at this, Curry. We do not care. Top heaven is gonna find one, and there's the we lead. We do by. not care. But it's not gonna be enough. Steel just locking down B main, wait, wait, and it looks wait, wait. like Gen G. With 15 seconds left, they have not made any moves, even if they get this kill into oh, their win. What is it going to do exactly? <laughs> they don't have the spike. 10 seconds left. The thing feels like we have a Viper's Pit mid. We have a three-man stack towards a why do I need to rotate? We have such a dominant hold. And he makes it and it makes a right call. Ends up getting two kills at the very end. And even that oh. shuts down. 20 seconds left. We're not going to get an A execute. Instead, we're going to get a... Oh, we're gonna get that A lurk, and there you go. Kusta actually pops up, takes the kill. Not only that, but uses something the ultimate, but way, stays in heaven with the hardest call out. Stays in heaven, marks his prey, and there he got him. Two free kills for him. He could potentially make it a third. You already know for a fact Kusta was coming back, back over towards spawn, and he pops out from stairs. Seven. 55 seconds left. It's plenty of time to make this decision, all right? Steel does find one big frag here over there towards A main. That's the sole lurker. And now Gen G, you have no space gain here towards A. This is where the lean back comes to the war B. And that's where the adjustment comes. Swipeo instantly playing back here towards B Heaven. And we'll see if he's able to stop them. No, wall goes in and it comes down to Curry. Along oh, he got spotted. Body. He got spotted. Oh, it doesn't yeah. matter at all. Pony You're gets kidding. the lineup. Curry gets the other angle. The double team works out perfectly. Now it's just one man remaining. GMD, one star to use. Down a little bit on HP, down in his shields, and Curry's wow. gonna be able to finish it off like an absolute. Yeah, he's gonna find the Another prime giving follow. Little small and... puppy. <laughs> yeah, right. Seven's like, let me ult, let me ult, let me ult, and they keep it nice and clean against the eco round. The anti eco results in the prime gaming flawless and seven. We almost had the ace, but sealed. You know, he had it very, very soon, and Thwaifo. Once more, is accompanied by two players, Steel and Seven here for the rest of the peak. And Steel, oh my goodness, spraying through Dude, two. how do you stop him? Like, He's actually, hit. how do you stop Steel at this point? No flashes are going in, right? No, they're not blocking him or anything. You know, Steel, come on. Steel does go down to the nade, but in comes the rest of the frag. And the Util comes out for both Seven and Thwipe to hold back that push, and everybody's there for that fight. He did have actually two stars. But it's not that T1 have been able to force so many times in this first half is now you're exacting dry. You have no early play, and Steel is going to find the first already. He gets one. Can he make it a second? No, he can't, at least for now. But again, no fight whatsoever. No util on that flash, and Steel, not faced by it, sticks around, gets a shot up, but doesn't connect. Curry takes that TP GMD, and ascending wall goes up, and Curry, the only one here on the site, is just trying to delay. Cabbage comes towards him, but he's still got a little bit of time. Seven's yeah, arrived. Seconds. Seen. Ten seconds left, and Seven goes for a wide swing. They need this spike seven. to get down, but it's already been dropped. And Sean, back site over towards it. Going back over towards that A site. There's three players posted up in game. heaven, and uh, is this even the right decision? So many players here, so so tight. If they do want to actually go through that elevated position, but they're uh, they're gonna opt not to. They're going seconds. right into heaven. And look at the wall. Nature pops out right at the perfect moment. But seven, he was on the ground. He's the one that ends up getting the kill, and Steel still clearing out the rest of heaven. This is a back-breaking round for Gen G. If these last two players can't make their way through, Steel with the first pick. Not able to actually get a shot out of it, but he knows that Sean and Rhyme are up in heaven. Not only that, but he ends up getting a bit of the TPs going. Oh, Rhyme going in me. and Thwife thing, and this is almost literally it. Not a single player peeking, but all five are waiting for it. That's the money at the end of the fishing rod, and out they finally go. The bait is set down, and now they finally execute, and it worked. The trap actually gets two kills, and they're out of there with an advantage. Will the plane actually go down and be? Yes, it will.
Yeah, so here's the thing, though, that Steelers done his lurk, worked his way all the way. Both players have lurked Both all players the way Both players literally went all the way over. Right, it's just like they can literally go A or B, and while they have two spec this year, Gen.G, they're going to have to throw these classic bodies, I'd imagine, at T1 first, kind of as a decoy setup here in Gen.G. Trademark does get broken Ooh. down here. Steel's like, all right, I know the flank is coming. Let's hold heaven. Let me check me to make sure no one's coming. Oh, Same thing snake here from Clifo. Just watching. Wall goes up here. It almost feels like Jeji's executing onto the B site. Yeah, no, this is uh, this is a perfect take coming up from the B main area. If again we were talking about the attacking side, but we're talking wow, about the defenders. Bite. In they go. Snake bite going in. He does have a second snake bite to use. So this round should just be all but over. Spectre on the other side. Is it actually going to be able to get a kill or two? Oh no, the defuse is going in. Dwight Fo! They need a swing! They need a swing! No, is that it? He does get it! The defuse comes in within a- I feel like ever are actually full committed to a B-bomb site. Look at the amount of bodies right around it. Oh no, the Viper's pit the going counter. in. Yeah, no, that's quite- I mean, here's the thing. Kus is still not even convinced this is actually going to be executed. <laughs> Seven slides across. Nature will be there to punish. Gravel Cheeky. in the middle of it. To at least give them that opportunity, but even then, the spike's not going down. Oh my down. god, this is literally glowing. So far, <laughs> that, that last deck is so impactful. That lovely the pop last goes down? in. Curry can't even get the spike down. One player left, and it's just Slypho. Sean comes around the corner. Oh. Okay, Sean takes a peek, but Seven takes a little bit of damage up there. They're baiting him into this fight here, and oh my goodness, the spam over from the ramp side as well. It's a one for one, but was it really worth it here for either Gen G or T1 as things again... Slow down tremendously. Look at this. Gen G <gasps> starting to pivot away from Ryan the same bomb site. Oh. It's a disciplined box as they start to approach. A smoke goes out, so it's just up to Kusa. Lime has to spray. Holds, waits. They don't swing, and he does get one oh, for free. Gen Again, Gen Steel Gen denying Gen Rhyme from midair. A showstopper stuffed to the ground. And that's the spike down here. Three versus two. And Gen G scrambling to get back towards the A site. I was just gonna work out Gen G. You need this round. You can't let T1 get any farther. Oh, this revive. Oh, man. they want that revive. Wait. Use the revive. Get the heck back in there. Not it's only that, but it's Sean with double flashes and a trailblazer and a heal ready up for him. That is full utility. Right and raring to go. So in we go. Gen G, they already have double drop, triple drop, actually, with a couple players back over towards Elbow. But it's only down to one already. Thwaifo with a double kill. Steel holding on to the We've got two ultimates raring and ready to go. If they can find the completion points here. And well, Steel. Attackers still. Making their way up that mid side, maybe the Seekers well. did work out, and yeah, <laughs> Rhyme is going to be able to get one out of that. Still three players remaining, trying to make their way onto a site that's essentially rocked on, that, that's essentially locked down. And Pony and seven teammates, but whatever it may be, the round is over. 11-7. Yeah, Gen G, they stick to their utility back over towards that A area. Ramp is covered, but Kusta goes in. Oh my, through the blinds he goes. And it was quite the nasty surprise. He was only able to get one though, but decent damage. He's down to low HP here, but look at the way that T1 are backing up. Look at the way that they've set themselves up here. He's back two towards A mate, and this is where Gen G want to fight. This is the, the, the fight they want to take here. Trademark there to slow them down. One goes through, but out goes another. The distraction no! from Rhyme is going to merit them this control. Gen G. Stumbling back towards they made yeah. have now found their footing and are looking to fight in the Viper's pit. Yeah, but that's only the first step of this entire process. Out goes the Trailblazer, trying to find a bit of information. Thwaifo in the back line, waiting for one, gonna be able to find one. Curry's doing the same, navigating this Viper's pit. It's a Viper in tall grass, and they're ready to bite, but it's not gonna happen! Thwai- Sean and Ryan, like you said, cheeky, they're able to get this control, but how do T1 adjust? Ryan gifted a kill, Thwaifo troll currently, and it looks like they're gonna wanna take it. They still have 20 rap? seconds remaining. No, this this is good. This is good. They still have the time. Just about 10 seconds for at least one person to get a contact back they in are. main. But no, they are. But they're going real quick. Look at nature. Nature around the corner. Going to be able to get one. But wide is seven. Oh, my word. They just went all in. All in indeed. Pony now. The last one remaining in a 1v4. I, I, I seriously cannot fathom. The boom bot and then immediately after a reaction. Oh Gen G. Three players. This is unbelievably aggressive steal. In the middle of nowhere, it's gonna get to force rotations. In goes finally the full take flashes. back over towards B. The flash is good, but it didn't actually catch anyone. GMD with a good peek, but 
Again, he goes down. 4v4. There's only one player actually in the middle of sight. T1's actually going to be able to get this spike plant, I think. Oh, no, they won't. Oh, no, they won't. The satchels. If they knock him off. Oh, my word, J. Such a strong hold here. Gravel as well for left. GMD to play off of. A pop flash out, but what's it really going to matter here? Smoke goes down and he sits inside. GD. Oh, seven. He does actually get one. Tour de Force still in play here. Spike to go down. There's nothing to what? deny. No T1. Way. They corral themselves in the middle of the B bomb site. And with three men peeking, they actually have a chance. A 4 know that Sean is here. And Pony, he's just so late to the party, but it doesn't matter. It's Come perfect it. timing. Sean is on such low HP, Kusta's got already a peak to go off of, and how ha- At the ready, okay, one towards the heaven side, how does this util, in the middle of A, support these two players? 15 seconds left, Here we go. Stars. they need to be activated, 7, seven. oh, Pony. it's a beautiful ground Pony. well, Pony. and it's a mop up, Pony in 7, the what on earth was that, Gen G, with full control, with a man advantage, they had time, they could have, they, they could have, just t taken Hyper is on his way. That's Kusta on his way. Two more players in the back line. Alk finally goes T1. They have that Nebula over towards Heaven. They've isolated still the two in the middle of sight. Seven's going to be able to get one. No, excuse me. That's Curry with both. Pony. Pony. JG is gone. No, Pony. No, Pony's not going to be able to get the frag. Instead, it's Steel. But yes, Pony. He's in a good spot. Could be able to potentially take down one or two over towards that Heaven area. But it's Rhyme. It's Nature. They're trying to make their way back on. Nature can't get a shot through. Neither can Rhyme. Rhyme is the one with the off, but he just can't find an angle. Nobody from T1 is peeking anymore. They don't need to peek. They have all the control. Star in the middle of sight. That's actually going to be utilized as a nebula, not as a grab well. Pony waiting up for someone in the middle of that smoke. Nature going through, but he's behind the pillar. Time is being played to perfection. And T1.